Communication is one of the biggest challenges in any organization, regardless of the size. I know when I was running retail stores, one of the biggest challenges we always had was keeping everybody on that team that was going to be there throughout the entire day uh, informed about what's supposed to happen that day, what are the priorities for that day, what's going to be going on, what to expect, uh, all of those types of things. So I thought I would talk about a few different um, tools that we use when we were uh, working on improving communication. You know, if uh, everybody doesn't understand the priority, if everybody is challenged uh, with just going off and doing their own thing, you're really not operating at full capacity. So some simple tools to improve the communication, whether it's running a retail store, whether it's running an organization of any kind, you can utilize these simple tools. The first one is that old school, just a communication log. Uh, this could be a notebook in your office uh, that everybody checks on and everybody takes a few minutes to read when they first come in for their shift. Uh, things like that could be a bulletin board that you're gonna put up for the daily uh, priorities, that type thing, but any kind of communication log. Uh, we used to take notes uh, every morning when we would do our store walks and we would post that and that became our communication log. Everything that we saw that day, everything that we were working on that particular day. The next one would be uh, a daily update template. <clears throat> I expected all of my managers, all of my team leaders to understand what were the sales yesterday, um, what, uh, what volume we did yesterday, how many customers we had yesterday, how many hours we used yesterday, uh, what were we expected to do today, what were the goals for today. Um, also, what sales were running, what promotions were running, uh, what were the schedules like for the people who, uh, when to expect people to come in, who was expected to come in, what time were they expected to come in. All of those different things we would be able to put on one simple sheet of paper that each one of the managers and team leaders could have in their pocket to reference at any point in time so that they knew what those priorities were today. So a daily update template can be very helpful in making sure that all of your team has the same information at the same time. Uh, the next one are huddle meetings or what we call stand-up meetings. Now, uh, this is where we would gather people in the front of the building, uh, everybody that was there that day, whether it be a team lead, every employee would stand up 10 or 15 minutes, we talk about what the priorities were for the day, um, maybe we were expecting company that particular day, anything like that. Uh, maybe we had some repairs uh, people that were gonna be coming in that particular day. We would d cover that in our what we call huddle meetings. Now, if you're not in a retail environment, maybe you're in a sales environment, maybe you're in an office environment, you can still have those types of stand-up meetings. They're very short, very to the point, not everybody gets to speak. It's just about open communications. But we would have one at, at the beginning of the day, middle of the day because we would have shift change because we were open late. And then we would do one after we would close at the end of the day to kind of recap what was going on, what may have been challenges, and what to kind of prep for the next day. So huddle meetings, stand-up meetings. And then there's also tools today because we're all working remotely in, in some instances. Maybe there's Zoom or GoToMeeting. You can still have what are known as stand up meetings, right? That means that nobody sits down in a chair. This is not going to be a long meeting. It's just informative, um, that type thing. And now there are tools like Slack, Basecamp, all those types of communication tools that you can send messages out to people, but there's nothing better than looking your team members in the face, talking to them, seeing their expressions, seeing if they've got questions on their mind. Things like that are going to help you better communicate what today's priorities. And when everybody's informed, you can hit your goals much, much faster that way. Set your priorities, let your team know what your priorities are, and do that consistently and constantly, and you'll win.